chapter 3, I was grieved and wept and prayed in sorrow, saying, O Lord, you are righteous, and all your works and all your ways are mercy and truth, and you judge true and righteous judgment forever. Remember me and look at me. Don't take vengeance on me for my sins and my ignorances, and the sins of my fathers who sinned before you, for they disobeyed your commandments. You gave us as plunder for captivity, for death, and for a proverb of reproach to all the nations among whom we are dispersed. Now your judgments are many and true, that you should deal with me according to my sins and the sins of my fathers, because we didn't keep your commandments, for we didn't walk in truth before you. Now deal with me according to that which is pleasing in your sight. Command my spirit to be taken from me, that I may be released and become earth. For it is more profitable for me to die rather than to live, because I have heard false reproaches, and there is much sorrow in me. Command that I be released from my distress now, and go to the everlasting place. Don't turn your face away from me. The same day it happened to Sarah the daughter of Raglan and Ekbatana of Media, that she also was reproached by her father's maidservants, because that she had been given to seven husbands, and Asmadius the evil spirit killed them before they had lain with her. And they said to her, Do you not know that you strangle your husbands? You have had already seven husbands, and you haven't borne the name of any one of them. Why do you scourge us? If they are dead, go your ways with them. Let us never see either son or daughter from you. When she heard these things, she was grieved exceedingly, so that she thought about hanging herself. And she said, I am the only daughter of my father. If I do this, it will be a reproach to him, and I will bring down his old age with sorrow to the grave. Then she prayed by the window and said, Blessed are you, O Lord my God, and blessed is your holy and honorable name forever. Let all your works praise you forever. And now, Lord, I have set my eyes and my face toward you. Command that I be released from the earth, and that I no longer hear reproach. You know, Lord, that I am pure from all sin with man, and that I never polluted my name or the name of my father in the land of my captivity. I am the only daughter of my father, and he has no child that would be his heir, nor brother near him, nor son belonging to him, that I should keep myself for a wife to him. Seven husbands of mine are dead already. Why should I live? If it doesn't please you to kill me, command some regard to be had of me, and pity taken of me and that I hear no more reproach. The prayer of both was heard before the glory of the great God. Raphael also was sent to heal them both, to scale away the white films from Tabit's eyes, and to give Sarah the daughter of Rachel for a wife to Tobias the son of Tabit, and to bind Asmadius the evil spirit, because it belonged to Tobias that he should inherit her. At that very time, Tabit returned and entered into his house, and Sarah the daughter of Rachel came down from her upper chamber, 